Well folks, as you can see, we're having trouble with our chopper again. We had a drive axle break here the other night. It's Wednesday right now, and um, Monday night about 6 o'clock, we ended up breaking a drive axle on our 8700 on the right rear axle. You kind of seen me walk when I walked around the chopper there in the beginning part of this video, and we'll show it again here in another second or two. Um, what we're using here today is an 8500 um, chopper. This is being loaned to us from Kaz Equipment. This is probably three or four years old. I don't know. It's got like 1600 hours on it or something. It's a good chopper. It's got an eight row small drum head. It's a slightly different head than what we've got on our chopper. Our chopper is a 10 row large drum. Um, the head uh, doesn't quite do as good as the large drum, but it's it's getting the job done. Again, this is an 8500. It's two sizes smaller than our chopper. Although it's a little smaller, it's it's doing a decent job here. Um, we're just lucky to have something uh, to use. This is our last bit of BMR silage uh, for this year. I've got about 30 acres left here. This was a 65 acre field and um, in a minute we'll go into the problems that we had with our chopper the other night and the process that everybody kind of went through to get to where we are today with using a chopper and all that crap we're just going to walk around this machine here quick um, this uh, machine was one of the earlier model 8000 series choppers that came out uh, i would have to say it's like years old or something like that this one came from a dairy uh, south of us I think they had two of them uh, they traded this machine in and bought uh, two more I don't know what size they were. went with a uh, last model year 8000 series or if they swapped these two in for uh, 9000 series choppers I'm not sure it's got a kernel star um, kernel processor in it it's a little different than the processor that we have. Uh, the, the rolls are slightly different. And as you can see, this is the uh, small drum head. Um, this has got eight little tiny um, drums on it compared to the uh, large ones that ours has. Ours has four large ones in the center and uh, a small one on the outside. So um, I'm just waiting for the dump wagon to get back here. on the 8700 chopper it is Thursday morning it's just a little bit after 10 o'clock we just got started chopping um, it rained here a little bit this morning and we ended up covering the small um, BMR bunks that we had been filling for the past couple days we had two of them that we covered this morning early uh, while it was raining I kind of thought it was gonna set in and rain all day and um, I wanted to get them covered. Uh, we were gonna chop until it started raining and then cover the bunks, but tomorrow it's looking like we're gonna be getting real heavy winds in our area. So anyways, we'll talk about the 8700 chopper a little bit, give you an update on that. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, they had two mechanics working on it from Kaz, Rich and Jake. Uh, we had had some harvest lab issues with it and Jake was there helping Rich uh, with the axle and what he was also doing uh, was he was putting a new wire harness in for uh, the uh, harvest lab. So um, they got the axle parts all back together, called me, said it was ready to go. I was just down the road on the same farm chopping in another field and uh, I said well why don't you bring it to me and I'll jump seats as soon as I get the trucks all filled while I'm waiting for trucks to return I'll uh, I'll switch over well they ended up pulling out onto the road with the chopper and the rear axle locked up something happened in the differential uh, they figured that from the 
three of these from three of these hubs breaking uh, something got overtaxed inside the differential this last time and it uh, you know, broke something inside that so they ordered parts uh, last night they came and got the chopper this morning their driver loaded it at like eight o'clock seven or eight o'clock and it is now back to the store at Kaz they were expecting to get the parts here on an overnight delivery whenever UPS lands here this morning and they might possibly have that back together here um, this afternoon perhaps I can go and get it tonight or early in the morning and uh, we can get our own chopper back going again it's kind of been an unfortunate set of circumstances but these guys are working on it as fast as they can and um, they're gonna get us back going in a relatively short order here so um, we'll be back at you again here in a little while um, it is clear right now it's not raining at all uh, we're having to use dump carts on everything here now uh, especially with the shower rain shower that we had uh, here this morning so uh, we're just gonna keep at it one load at a time here it's all we can do and um, we'll come back at you later hopefully it's from the uh, seat of the 8700 Well, you spill a little bit on the ground, but that's what happens when we're running these freaking dump wagons. So let's get back to chopping here. 